everyone. My name is Bonnie Clefman, and I am an associate college consultant with Access College America. And I was wondering if you guys ever have loved the question in a job interview or other situation. So tell me a little bit about yourself. That's a difficult question to answer sometimes, isn't it? Well, that's the way I'm kind of thinking of and framing the college application this year between our essays and our extracurriculars and our GPA and our class rank and all the things that go into it. It's really just an answer to the question, tell me a little bit about yourself. One of the most important ways we can tell a little bit about ourselves is the activities list. So what is an activities list anyway, and how do you create one and order it so that it makes sense and it puts your best foot forward in the college application? Well, an activities list is a group of activities that you have done outside the classroom during your high school years. Anything from the summer before ninth grade all the way through graduation is included in this. So it's not your GPA, it's not your rank, um, it is all of your extracurricular stuff. And it's a great way for an admissions officer to figure out how you're going to fit into that college campus. So I'm talking about sports, organizations, clubs, community service, employment, or dedicated hobbies. They all go here. So if you're a senior and you haven't started one of these, the best place to start is a brain dump of everything that you have done. You might want to have a parent or friend there with you if you've done a lot of things just to help you remember everything. So jot down on a piece of paper or in a spreadsheet, what was the name of your activity? Um, what is the group that it was a part of? How many years of high school did you do the activity? And did you hold any leadership or titles in this activity? Finally, list any quantifiable data. If you won or your team won an award, um, you know, how, what was the award? If you raised money, how much money did you raise? If you won a competition, how many competitors were there and what place did you come in? And finally, what impact did you make because of this activity? And you can think of big picture here. So take a while, brainstorm all of these things, and then some of them you're going to find are very easy to quantify. Okay, our marching band came in second place at the state competition. Some things are more difficult to quantify, such as leadership or impact. Let me explain that just a little bit. Leadership isn't always defined as being the, being the president, vice president, secretary, or treasurer of an organization. Think of a leadership role that you held within the organization, even if it isn't a named one. Were you the person who held band sectionals outdoors in your yard um, during COVID? You can list that. Were you the one who called and reminded everybody of rehearsal for the play? That can be listed too. Think broadly about impact and about leadership activities. Um, in terms of impact too, let me go back there. Um, if it's a volunteer activity, even if it's just a one-off, think about the things that um, helped others within that activity. If you volunteered at a soup kitchen for lunch twice, um, twice last school year, think about the people who came there. How did you positively impact that? You may wish to list that in the activity. Okay, so this is art and science, right? How do you rank these things? Which one is the most important? Because the college admissions officer is going to look from one down to 10. Um, and when we get to this stage, we're going to look in our common app. Generally, um, we use the Common App as a barometer because there are 10 spaces for 10 activities in the Common App. Sometimes university or college specific um, applications will have room for more or less, um, as will Apply Texas or other platforms. We're just going to talk about the Common App right now and listing our top 10 activities in terms of how important they were to your high school career. So first, we're going to think about longevity. Let's think about it as a point system. So if you participated in the activity for four years, give it four points, three years, three points, two years, two points, and on down the line. Same thing with leadership. Leadership is very important. If you held the presidency or the most important position in that activity, then go ahead and give it four points. If you held a second or third in command, assign it three. Um, if you had an unassigned leadership role, give it two. And if you simply were a member of that organization, give it one. Um, okay, impact. This is very important too. We're going to assign impact points. So if this activity is something that's unique to you or something that you started, if you founded um, 
if it's directly related to your major, if it solved a community problem, go ahead and list that as a four. If the activity is related to your future career, but didn't necessarily um, you know, have a uniqueness to you as an individual student, go ahead and assign it a three. Um, and if the activity is indirectly related, you can make a net, but you can make a connection somehow to what you want to be when you grow up, then assign it a two. And finally, let's think about time devoted. How many hours a week did you do this thing in season, right? So you think about if it was band, think about marching band season. Um, if it was the school play, think about play rehearsal. So if you did it 20 or more hours a week, it'll be a four. If you did it 15 or more, then you're gonna give it a three, 10, five, et cetera, down for two and one. It's very, very hard to quantify this stuff, you guys, but by using this point system, you can kind of get an idea of which things were most important and which things need to be listed first, second, third, et cetera. So now we get to the hard part which is the writing of this crazy thing, right? How do you actually list them and impact and input them into the common app? So one word, concisely, okay? Please don't use extra verbiage. And here is why. There is a character count for this stuff. I don't necessarily, I don't mean word count, hear me correctly, a character count. So for your position and leadership, you get 50 characters to describe this. For the organization name, you get 100 characters only. And finally, to quantify and describe this activity, maybe the thing that you've done for four years, 20 hours a week, you only get 150 characters. So you've got to use strong verbs, um, economy of language, and um, there are some tips and tricks that you can do here, right? For once, all of those little characters, ampersands, and signs, less than or greater than signs, those things are all fair game. You don't have to write incomplete sentences here. So try to get the most impactful verbs, um, get the most descriptive, descriptive language you can get into 150 characters. You can also add interest if possible. So instead of just saying, I was the saxophone player in my high school marching band, you could say you were sax saxophone section leader, soloist and member in our award for the organization name, our award-winning marching band who is currently 10th in the nation. Do you see how I added just a little bit of description to what normally would have been just a plain listing? So these are just a few tips and tricks that you can use on your activities list to jazz it up, to order it correctly, and to make sure you have your most important things listed. I hope this was helpful for all of my rising seniors, as or for my, for my seniors, excuse me, who have just started their school year, and for my underclassmen who are beginning to conceptualize what an activity list might look like. So if you have any questions, reach out to us, book a, an appointment, and we will hopefully see you soon. Have a great day and good luck, seniors. Cheers.